Good morning from a hmm, perhaps a thunderstorm ridden Peterborough. Still a bit dry today, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, firstly, I must apologise for putting yet another video out, but there's a good reason for that, and that will be mentioned at the end of this. Uh, quickly, first off, I've just added a hook just to the side of the greenhouse, something simple, and I can get all my auxiliary air stones up out of the dirt because earlier I'd just thrown them in that corner. And that's not like me. But without further ado, we're going to talk about pom plants and my lovely wife, Cat. Good morning, Cat. Morning. Cat is going to identify hopefully all the plants that we've got around the top of this pond one or two that we can identify but maybe you can help so if we uh, if we start in this corner uh, we have mint right so we're looking at uh, this uh, one to start with so yeah. if you we have a it's a sort of ended up as an all mint collection so this is spearmint spearmint um, and that's a I think a Moroccan mint so ah. it's a tea there's a ginger mint which was a rescue plant from somewhere else in the garden yep Asaph is the bifocal one. Okay. Uh, black mint, again another rescue plant from elsewhere in the garden, which needs crowd control that one. And, uh, you go away for a year and it ends up six foot high and six foot wide. Uh -huh. um, there's a curly mint there and also a bit of thyme from Steve when he cooks for us. Lovely. A couple of hyssop, there's a blue and a pink in some order and an Asaph. Uh, Indian the mint. Asa. Oh, come down. Indian mint, yep. Yep, so that's good for your uh, mojitos. I like mojitos. Also saturated, so not strictly uh, meant for if you're into that thing. Uh, Thai mint. Thai mint. Um, another normal mint bought from Sainsbury's and stuck in a pot by Steve. <laughs> um, apple mint. Yep. And Korean mint, again, not strictly a mint. Also agastache with big spikes of either well, yellow or... Uh, white or purple flowers. Okay. Um, and then there's pussy willow which is self-seeded. So that's what we've got in the pots around the top. Right, and within the pond. So in the pond we have water lily. Yeah. Which is coming up. Well, a couple of water lilies. Okay, with yeah, water lily there. Slightly variegated leaves on that one. And next to it water mint. Yeah, uh, water mint there. Okay. A yellow flag which has just stopped flowering unfortunately. Huge yellow flag, yeah the uh, the flowers were really bright yellow but they're now gone. Uh, there's a the stripy leaves is a type of water hyacinth, it's not the one that's banned obviously, uh, has big blue flowers on it. Lovely. Um, and then a couple we're not sure about, there's one that's an oxygenating plant um, purely put in to help with goldfish. This takes up way over half yeah. of the pond which is it's really nice to look at, it's very delicate. Maybe you can identify that people out there? Uh, and uh, there's a reedy thing which again is supposed to have some dark red flower heads but we haven't seen those yet and I can't remember what that's called either. Yeah, they're almost spiralised when they grow, they just put a, a bit of a twist in. So there we are, yeah. if you can identify some of them for us, those that we're uh, missing. And I've also put an, uh, a couple of planters in. So what we got in there? So we've got cord lines in the middle. Yeah. Steve, who likes those? There's geraniums, both the same. Um, there's a there's comelina in there, which should come up with some blue flowers, and then living around the outside. And we've got one at the other side. Right. Thank you very much, Cat. Yeah. Okay. So remember when we saw this yesterday? This is Steve's box of amazing ideas, cost saving and all that, which is, yeah, just cost a fortune. So a big pile of bits. Remember that. That's going to play a part later on in this video. So stay tuned. So on the way back, uh, just to the left is where my grandchildren are supposed to be playing. But that's where I dry my filter floss. And it works perfectly. So obviously, when the grandchildren turn up, I won't be um, I won't be having filter floss on there. So coming back down the garden, just going to head into the uh, the greenhouse. A couple of people put some uh, mentions in last night. Uh, I think it was 
Carol Lysette, sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly Carol and she said what is the clarity like now I've put the clay in well it, obviously uh, this is quite difficult because you get a lot of reflection probably won't be able to see it no it's not going to work unfortunately but the clarity is like glass I can see all the way down to the bottom uh, albeit it's only um, oh what I'm talking just short of four foot so that's your answer to that Carol it's just like glass uh, and I believe one of the subscribers from I think it was America got in touch with me and basically said that if this happens to clog up will it overflow now that's that's quite a good point because uh, as the streams of water now are quite close together as you can see with these dots there is no need for me to put filter floss as wide and as long because I've actually got a fold in here at this end I don't need all that so I'm going to save a bit of money by making the filter floss narrower and thereby um, taking away the chance that it could actually overflow and uh, just one little addition if you need to block up the end firstly buy your wife a Rolo yogurt um, take out the uh, the yogurt eat that successfully wash the pot out and it will fit in a two and a half inch hole anyway by the by uh, what we also had yesterday was um, our upper pond were spawning and one of the female fish was absolutely getting destroyed and that I know nature plays a part and all this business but what we actually did in the end was take one of these which is a floating very soft mesh net and as you can see there it's uh, Cockney Koi I think it's about 300 by 450 mil and basically we lifted her out bless her sat her in that and let her float, her, float around for a, a couple of hours until she got her breath back and then uh, released her again so I, I guess she's happy although she never told us right let's just pop outside again another little change to my pond cover so this sits at the far side of the waterfall and it's hinged so it can actually drop back down but the bottom half was getting wrecked so I actually put a hinge on that as well so now it's very easy to uh, put the lids on uh, and coming towards the end of the video and there's a good reason why I did this is I have now reached well gone over 500 subscribers and with that in mind I did actually say that I would put out a prize and that's exactly what I'm going to do so the prizes are as follows I will build you and paint you a bird box similar to something like that or maybe something in green a little bit of painting if you go to decoy's channel you'll see the one that i made for him that was actually engraved and hand painted the box has already been built because i was uh, keen to get to 500 you'll notice that there's no hole in it that depends on what you want engraving on the front then i'll put the hole on um normally i would just do it red and black and you're probably thinking well why red and black it's because that's what I've got in the garage so how on earth do you actually win this bird box and is there alternative prizes so first off you need to subscribe and like this video easy bit second you have to supply me the name of your local koi dealer another easy bit in order to win the prize you have to tell me how many fittings there is in Steve's box of great ideas in the shed you've just seen and then the last bit is you either decide that you would like a bird box or you would like a koi or pond voucher from the name of the shop you have stated in your comments so I need to see name of a shop number of fittings 
and either put BB for bird box or KV for koi voucher in the comments and then we'll give it about a week cat will then decide who's the winner if there's somebody really close I think we'll give it to the nearest and I'll get that shipped out to you uh, those people that live in America alas this would cost me probably the price of a kidney to get it sent over there so I'm afraid I won't be able to help you out on that score so I'm really really sorry about that I do apologize but in the meantime I'll just repeat that name of your koi shop or pond shop where you you get your routine food from aquarium bits whatever you want BB if you want the bird box KV if you want the koi voucher and the number of fittings you believe that are in Steve's box of great ideas anyway thanks for watching and bearing with me and um, do subscribe heartfelt thanks for all those people who do follow me it's uh, heartwarming that you'd like to follow an old guy from Yorkshire who just plays around in his garden with his pond and fish and it, it, it's just lovely and I do appreciate it so stay safe stay healthy and I'll catch you on the next one.